Hi guys, um, this is Violating Community, Community Guidelines. Guidelines with Brittany and Sarah. I am incredibly hungover <laughs> and I need everyone to look me in my Christian eyes and validate me. You are forgiven. I made so many poor choices last night. I was wearing boots last night yeah. and I <laughs> was going down the <laughs> stairs. Did you just gargle and Yeah, I did. Go? And I did. <laughs> <laughs> I was going down the stairs last night. Fell down like seven stairs. Oh my god! Slid. It was fun. I have a big bruise on my thigh, so it's really fun. What type of boots were you wearing? Oh, uh, like Harry Styles boots. That it tells me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like cowboy boots? Did they were they like little kid boots with Harry Styles on the side? <laughs> I painted Harry on the side of them. No, just like little go-go boots. They're like three, four inch heels, and I just oh. ate ate ass. I'm sorry. I ate ass on the stairwell. <laughs> You ate ass at a Christmas bar. <laughs> sounds like a really fun Christmas Jesus song. in the manger was just next to me. I was eating ass. The employees turn him around. <laughs> <laughs> Shield your eyes, Jesus. So this episode is about Craigslist misconnections. Yes. I think everyone's familiar with misconnections at yeah. this point. Or, or if you don't know, that's what it's called. Yes. You've, you've heard of it before. We're going to tell you if you've never heard of it. We're going to tell you a little bit about it. Do um, we have a story for you? <laughs> Just the most awful things yeah, online. Yeah, um, there was like one one time where this guy was just like describing this woman, and it like it turns out it was a store mannequin. He oh just, God! I was like, she's gonna be there next week. <laughs> she, you embarrassed her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's uh, run through this. It's um, I don't know if the Craigslist personals uh, section is still available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's the personals on Craigslist was taken down. So misconnections are the only thing like. Still hanging on. I have to tell you what misconnections is. Yeah, let's get the definition in there. <laughs> okay. So, in September of 2000, misconnections was introduced as part of the personal section of the classified advertisement website Craigslist. At its peak in 2010, New York City's misconnections was receiving a- over 8,000 submissions a week. Mm-hmm. So, 8,000 people were just missing each other. Just begging for connection. Mm-hmm. The earliest known misconnection called a quote-unquote once-seen ad appeared in the Tadler in 1709. The mm. ad was placed by Samuel Reeves in red, a gentleman who, on the 20th instant, had the honor to conduct a lady out of, out of the boat at Whitehall Stairs, desire to know where he may wait on her to de- disclose a matter of concern. Mm, the, so, the original, hey, I saw you. Old horny. <laughs> old horny in 1709. <laughs> this reminds me of the Pina Colada song. Yeah. Do you like Pina Coladas and getting lost in the rain? <clears throat> that must be so humiliating. Yeah. To like Imagine wanting to know someone that bad. That you felt that was your only option. It wasn't like, hey, do you guys know, like, the other day there was, like, a woman here? Yeah. It's like you had to publish this. You had to publish this in the public paper. Yeah, like, you have to go to the newspaper, and they're like, I guess, sure. Like, yeah, man. I imagine it's, like, the same type of energy when you go get, like, photos printed at, like, CVS. <laughs> There's just, like, three pictures of your ass because you were trying to check out a mole. <laughs> <laughs> you know that cashier has like seen your hole yeah, yeah no going back from that that's super relatable um experience everyone has so i think so misconnections is part of craigslist personals and i think per- personals were actually like taken down because it was like a lot of sex work and stuff which is unfortunate because i feel like what pushed it to be like actually taken down i have no idea wait let's look this up let's see uh congress passes a bill on trafficking so I think um, you can still find furniture or a roommate on Craigslist, blah, 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 blah. Um, they took down personals. The company says it made the change because Congress has passed the Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act meant to crack uh, down on sex trafficking of children. Oh, Who's listing child sex trafficking ads on Craigslist? Well, probably are you l- dumb or stupid? A lot of people. I mean, the ones that I see, though, are like looking for an open mouth to fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. There is gonna this is gonna be unnaturally horny. Um, mm-hmm. so I'm very sorry just ahead of time. If, Heads up. Yeah, you people online when they're horny just you know really commit. It's great content. It is, but it it's is. so shocking. <laughs> we as a species have not evolved at all. Yeah, and also like I don't understand like when people describe like women they're like i saw you i would like to fuck that tight little ass and you're like why would she answer this why would she answer this like 
fucking listing. Horny at the corner Walgreens. Like, I, I bet you if you like wrote a poem, at least like five women would respond. Like, yes. I know this isn't about me, but I'd like to know more. Right. Because that's like enticing for women. Not a tight little hole a tight at the CVS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this too loud? I don't know if your head hurts. <laughs> no, it's fine. Take some water. Take a drink of water. You know what's also is adding to this concoction of horrible, god awful things in my body? Is I'm on my period too. Mm. I'm just I'm going through it. <laughs> god has favorites, and I'm not one. <laughs> your body's just a garbage disposal right it now. Is. Um. <laughs> So uh, the definition, a misconnection is a type of personal advertisement which arises after two people meet but are too shy or otherwise unable to exchange contact details. I think the shyness is the key here. Yeah, and I don't think it's both people are shy. I think it's one person is Is a creepy pervert. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Like there's nothing about, yeah. He's a pervert. Um, So CEO of Craigslist characterized it as, you smiled at me on the subway platform. The CEO of Craigslist? (laughs) Oh, shit. That's how he met his wife. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, love can happen anywhere. Uh, True. He sees the format as addressing a common human need and being ideal for romantic comedy. Misconnections give people that second chance. They represent persistence in the face of long odds, which definitely adds to their artistic appeal. Artistic appeal? There's nothing artistic about (laughs) saying, I want to fuck the old Navy mannequin. (laughs) That's art in some other realm. What's that like? I don't... um, what the difference between art and porn? It's like <laughs> where you upload it, <laughs> <laughs> or like I know it when I see it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think anyone's ever gone on Craigslist and been like, "This is so artistic." No. <laughs> other versions of misconnections exist outside of Craigslist in other countries. Um, London Metro has Rush Hour Crush. Now, see, that's cute. Yeah, that is kind of cute. Pervy, but cute. Mm-hmm. I just imagine that this is like more fun for men because like having like women just probably be like freaked out. Yeah. You're lusted after in public. Yeah. I wonder how many of these are written by women. Yeah. Probably none. (laughs) Not a single one. No. Um, So spread the March 30th, 2009, a misconnections themed Tumblr blog was created as a crowdsourced gallery to showcase particularly strange or funny misconnections. Oh, my God. I'm super excited. I miss Tumblr. Do you? You it's still it's still up. <laughs> you can still go on it. I miss the culture of Tumblr. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I was thinking you're like I miss LimeWire. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Tumblr still exists. I did not have sex with that woman. Is that on LimeWire? That? <laughs> that was you would like I would go to download like Drake's album or like Nicki Minaj in 2009 and it would be Bill Clinton saying that or an Ellen DeGeneres soundbite or something else. It was like the trolls that would upload oh, it. Oh oh oh. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I was like, I just want to listen to Drake. I was like, what is this? So here's an example. I just want to listen to Drake. <laughs> what is this? this first one. <laughs> this first one. Um, oh. It's uh, Craigslist misconnection from like 2012. Jesus. PNL, you sold me your panties Friday night. <laughs> it's a picture. Of the <laughs> Mail for a woman. You sold me your panties for cab fare Friday. I no. was going. Oh, I was going to give you cab fare anyways, but you said you wanted me to have something to remember you by. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> doubt she said that. You get your period stained. <laughs> this ain't my shit stained on these <laughs> skin marks. Um, it was sexy watching you take them off. I wish you could see this underwear because it's like full ass underwear. Yeah. It's like frilly and very uh, ew, juvenile. Yeah. But never knew how hot it would be smelling them. No. Haven't been able to stop, well, remembering you. No. I'd love to buy another pair from you anytime. And then he shows the, the stain. <laughs> She's identifying her own panties by the stain and not by the pattern. Like, That's me. <laughs> uh, that looks like me. That came out of me. Yeah. I'll claim that. <laughs> Would you um, answer? I mean, here's the thing. She's the one who sold the panties. So I, I figured she probably would want to, you know, answer Sell this. it again? Yeah. That is a very weird thing to do. It is. And it, okay, what did he say? I was going to give you cab fare anyway, but you said you wanted me to have something to remember you by. So she enabled it. She was, she, he was like, no, I have money. She's like, no, 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 no. Take my panties. Take my little frilly undies. <laughs> He's like, if you insist. He's like, the way um, he probably painted himself out to sound like a yeah. chivalrous gentleman. I didn't want your shit stained panties, but <laughs> I, you insisted. You twisted my arm. <laughs> <laughs> and as a gentleman, I must accept. <laughs> oh, God. Here's another one. Would you like to read this one? 
Hot brunette at Buckcherry concert. Man for woman. You were standing behind me on the stairs in a sexy blue dress and high heels. You needed a step stool to get into. They're so artistic with it. Yeah. I like your attitude. And I wanted to say more to you, but didn't know if you were with one of the guys in your group. I hate drama, so try to avoid it if possible. If you see this and you're interested, hit me up. I don't understand how she is supposed to identify him. I know, right? You would, like, describe yourself. Yeah. I would imagine, like, you. it would be like, um, what's that thing called when you go to, like, a police station? Uh, sketch uh, artist. Yeah. Like, you would describe yourself vividly enough that a sketch artist could probably draw it. So people would be like, oh, yeah, I do remember you. No, she's supposed to just know. This is just one of the men behind, of, like, yeah. behind her at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh. Like, to think, they're always so, like, the way they describe these women is so, what you put on your Instagram story a lot. Of what? Like, is that th- crying? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, um, like, the way men write women, it's yeah. like, her tits were so bouncy yeah. and percolating. Her asshole undulated with desire. It's like, <laughs> what color is her hair? What color is it? <laughs> How pretty is her smile? Her asshole. <laughs> Ah! Her tits perked up in <laughs> anticipation. <laughs> Come on. What does she have? I don't know. Yeah. Men are just like, I'm, I can't speak. It's so sexual for absolutely no reason. Yeah. And why would anyone answer that? No. <gasps> that was me. <laughs> like, what do you think? My tits do that. Hey! <laughs> My asshole is wide. <laughs> this guy's pretty astute. <laughs> Um, next one is Home Depot North on Ambassador, male for woman, 59. Jeez. Mm-mm. This is long. This is a long shot, but wanted to try. I was praying for some yard tools. I was paying for some yard tools at Home Depot. You were standing behind me and said something like, looks like you were into some yard work or something like that. I looked at you and you said, sure, come help me if you want. Uh, what was your reply back to me? I'm a little shy and get a little tongue tied at the sight of a pretty woman. If this is you, write Home Depot in subject line. I hope to hear from you. I hope to hear from you. How does this... I'm not even... I looked at you and said, you should sure come help me if you want. He can't even... You can't even describe the interaction. No. He's like, I don't really remember, but you was hot. I think you were talking to me, and I was... (laughs) I was... This guy just has like a delayed like memory. <laughs> In two days, he's gonna remember what she looks like. He was talking to a two by four. It wasn't yes. even a woman. It's just like that little fridge with all the sodas, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Hello, young lady. <laughs> SpongeBob meme. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, my God. It's the fifth time he's been in here this week (laughs) flirting with our soda machine. (laughs) When he grabs the soda, it's really (laughs) fucking me up. (laughs) Hello, my fair lords, ladies, and gentlefolk. Tis I, Brittany Bruschke. Have you been missing a little fantasy in your life? Well, allow me to introduce Switchcraft, a mobile game with a unique blend of TV-worthy writing, choose-your-own-adventure-style narrative, and thousands of magical match-three levels. As you play more and more, the storyline gets more and more interesting. I'm obsessed. I think about it all the time. It basically all starts with the disappearance of your best friend, which is kind of tea, and then you have to unravel the mystery of her disappearance using your magical match three skills. Listen, along the way, you're going to find one, great characters, two, a great story, three, a little romance. I love a little, this is like a little fan fiction that you create along the way. It's my dream, actually, by the way. So hurry, ride forth. Download Switchcraft for free and unlock the magical mystery. And tell me what you found along the way. <laughs> let's let's keep educating everyone. You get the gist. It's just like creepy men who are just describing a woman hornily. Yes, Hor- <laughs> hornily is the <laughs> adverb here. Um. So uh, June uh, June 2nd, 2012, BuzzFeed reported on a misconnection street art project called I Wish I Said Hello, created by artists Adria Navarro and Lisa Park that involved creating stickers based on misconnections posts and stuck them on locations described within them. Okay. I had a misconnections one time, guys. Uh, Let them know. My, uh, my car engine kept failing, and so I had to get it towed out of my old parking deck, and um, the 
person, when they described me, they described my car, the parking deck, and they said I was nice. They didn't say anything sexual about me. So I like, I wanted to respond, but also I remember the driver. He was much, much older than me. Yeah. I just want to say thank you because he could have been a perv, but he was just like, you were like nice. Yeah. Of all the things he could have said. Yeah. You, you made it out alive. <laughs> My tits weren't bouncy enough for you. <laughs> You couldn't describe them? You get offended. <laughs> You're like, well, you didn't even comment on my ass. I know. You're going to have a misconnections about you and it's not even about your body? You didn't call my butthole gaping? You think I'm nice? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Why would I answer this? <laughs> <laughs> the BuzzFeed article, I Wish I Said Hello, a new project that attempts to bring misconnections back to the public space in the form of street art. The founders turned Craigslist personals into stickers, combining parts of the original text within the image to encapsulate the encounter. Once the stickers are created, they are placed on the original misconnection exact location. Oh, that's cool. The images are no longer available. Yeah, this. What's the fucking deal with BuzzFeed? I don't know. I'll go to like find something from eight years ago on BuzzFeed. Bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> and there's never. Is it like copyrighted images? Yeah, I can't even take like am I gay tests anymore. Literally. I just want to know what Disney princess I am. They just tell me I'm Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to read this article. Oh, wait, there's the website. I wish I said hello. That's actually a cool concept. Yeah. If Like when you remove the sexual nature from it. Like, mm -hmm. I wish I had said hello. I have a lot of moments like that. Yeah. Where, like, I've met a cool person just like in public and it's like, I wish I'd talked to them more. Or like, do you ever see someone and you're like, I know they have a cool life story. Yeah. I wish I had said something. Yeah. It's like seeing someone rollerblading. Yeah. It's like, like to music. You're like, that person is probably so cool. They're so free. Yeah. I did you guys have like, something. um, on your like campus, like, like your college campus, did you ever have like that one person always rollerblading? Yeah. We're like skateboarders. Yeah. Or that one guy that's always break dancing. Um, no, we had a, <laughs> a gospel uh, not gospel, like a evangelist. Yeah, who would come out and be like, "If you're a gay, you're gonna <laughs> rot in hell," and we would all stand around and say, "Yeah, that's my psychology professor." <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in class in fifteen. <laughs> you uh, like walk up to him about the reading, like, "Hey, sorry, what did we have to? Never mind." Oh yeah, I literally like. <sighs> A and I would entertain that shit, which was yeah. frustrating. But we everyone made a joke out of it, so it was yeah, fine. Good. Did you have that? We had a guy that was constantly breakdancing <laughs> in front of you can't the. Can't stop him if you wanted <laughs> to. Literally, just like day and night in the rain <laughs> was breakdancing. <laughs> but then, like um, when he walked at graduation, everyone cheered for him. Oh yeah, because they're like, oh, he's leaving. He's walking. Yeah, but then there was also that one guy who like sung really loudly when he rollerbladed. Oh yeah, I don't know if you're a campus. So enemy. free. Yeah, they just I, don't give a shit. No, you could only hope to be that free someday. Yes. <laughs> you were so jealous of him. <laughs> I was. <laughs> so the um, I wish I said hello project, according to Wikipedia. Oh my god, I don't want to read about another misconnection. Um, we find there's something poetic about the desperate hope for the re-encounter, but also something very ironic about using the internet as the tool to achieve it. It turns out, in the era of social media, when we're supposedly connected to anyone in the world, the network of misconnections is one of the most inefficient ones. Yeah. So that's basically what they were trying to get across with all the stickers. I, is stickers, are they? Is that vandalism? For sure. <laughs> you know what I do love? Um in Hollywood, on like stop signs and shit, mm. people will put stickers and it'll be like, <laughs> stop or like yield to pedestrians. And it's like, F come see my show. <laughs> 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 Buy my NFT. <laughs> or like those people with their, like, their cars and their like bumper stickers is like customized for their Instagram. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why would you ever follow someone like if you saw them on the highway? The guy's car is cool. <laughs> I'm going to follow him on Instagram. Dude, slow down. I'm trying to <laughs> get your full tag. It's a QR code. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think those are really that um, <clears throat> helpful. Fuck. I just had something about the stickers on the sign. There's a, um, when I go on my walks every day, there's this sticker that just says porn on it. I love that. It doesn't like say what type or anything. It just says porn. The concept. <laughs> and it's like, yes. yes. I agree. What does this say about our society? <laughs> so much. <laughs> porn. Everything and not enough. Oh, I wonder if people actually like met each other off misconnections. I bet there's some, some romances. I definitely know that like people are horny enough. Like if they want to get fucked, they yeah. probably answer a Craigslist misconnection. The weirdest one I've ever seen is like, the men that want mommies. Yeah. And they're like, let me suckle from your teat. And it's like, you're 50. <laughs> Go to therapy. <laughs> you don't need to drink the milk from my boob. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit. Can you just like lactate or do you have to have like a baby? 
if you think really hard about it, you can lactate. Yeah. It's like a period. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some... The human body's crazy. Because I... Like, when you stress yourself out, you can give yourself your period. Yeah. Like, usually, like, my period doesn't come. And then, like, I, like, force myself to, like, think about it hard enough and it comes. You manifest yeah. lactating? <laughs> I want to manifest it. I want to see what it's like. I, I feel it's painful, do you think? No, yeah, because your boobs fill up with, like, liquid and you have to, like, milk yourself. <sighs> Dude, if I was a mom and I was lactating, I would, like... And I had to, like, pump. I'd, like... Kneel, like bend over like a cow and oh, have yeah. my partner just milk me like oh, a little cow. That's a visual I'd never needed. <laughs> That'd be so fun. <laughs> hey, Rumi. <laughs> you help me with something. Coming. I try to lactate on commands. <laughs> you know that awkward moment when your roommate needs to be milked? <laughs> yeah. it's like, what? You get a pail and a little stool. <laughs> Oh my god! And then on misconnections, uh, you were milking your roommate. <laughs> I saw you through the window. I saw you <laughs> squeezing her breast. I would like to experience that too. God, people are so fucking <laughs> weird. That's our joke that we just came no, but- up with. <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking about yourself the third person. God, people are so weird, man. Right? <laughs> we we'll never do them. that. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean the original of like a man wanting to like suck on a grown woman's teat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Jesus. I, that's, is that okay to do in public? If you're if you're breastfeeding pe- a baby? I mean, okay, like a grown man. If you <laughs> oh, What? If you're purely trying to nourish him like he is starving, is it okay to breastfeed a grown person? Go to the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> and you try it out. And tr- <laughs> <laughs> Try it there. I was kicked out of Target for breastfeeding. They don't yeah. mention that my partner is like 30 years old. I want, literally imagine like you're at LAX waiting for your flight <laughs> yes. and you're there with your partner and he's like, uppies, hungies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Bradley, you're 33 at a certain point. You're like holding him like against your boot, like <laughs> these airport prices are no joke. <laughs> uh, or like you do it on the plane. No eating on the plane. Well, uh, he needs to eat. <laughs> oh, well, actually, this is making me sad. Yeah, he's a growing boy. Yeah. <laughs> I told you the string you picked off your shirt had fallen on your pants. You called me observant and said you liked my hair. It's the little things. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> you got some shit on your shirt. I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most beautiful interaction he's had in months. You had short pixie cut John Seberg cut hair. John? And we're carrying bags with a bunch of sunflowers in them. What about her? Imagine someone describing you on a normal day. Oh, that would suck. What would yours be? <laughs> you were that frumpy <laughs> smoker's lung personified. <laughs> I um <laughs> I saw you spitting on the sidewalk. <laughs> Wish you'd spit on me like that. <laughs> Her hair looked rusty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How would they describe you? Mine would be your boobs hang down to your thighs. <laughs> I love the way your back arches <laughs> slump over. <laughs> I saw you in traffic picking your nose, knuckle to the brain. Your posture was pretty impressive. Your, I didn't know the human back could arch like that. <laughs> Slumped over. That would be so horrifying to read oh about my myself. Oh, God. I just, like, I, I think about this all the time. Well, it's this eternal thing of, like, I don't. You never know how other people perceive you. Yeah. And you can only do your best to try to manage that perception. Yeah. But it gets overwhelming after a certain point. I I always think if someone were to, like, draw me (laughs) as I am existing in this moment, how just sad it would be. Horrifying. Just so uh, offensive (laughs) to me. I don't look like that. Yes, you do. That photo from Napoleon Dynamite. (laughs) (laughs) It's so fucking terrible. They shade my upper lip. (laughs) I'm like, oh, fuck. Damn it. You guys saw that, too. You can see it from 30 <laughs> feet away. Oh, my God. People can see me. Oh, <laughs> terrible news. There's another one. We shared a few moments last night on the L train while a drunk guy was sleeping on you. Oh. Oh. Wait. Why didn't you help them? You're just <laughs> staring from across, from across the subway, just watching this woman struggle. You were so uncomfortable. I was so sexy. The way you were struggling. <laughs> God. You missed your stop because you couldn't push him off. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> Hate men. I do too. Illustrations. <laughs> On September 22nd, 2011, children's illustrator Sophie Blackle published a collection of illustrations based on misconnections titled 
missed connections mm-hmm. love lost and found it's pretty inspired very original Oh, it's actually kind of um, interesting. Way that kind of slays. Okay, so this uh, piece of art is a man, and his face, like his face, is the sea, and his forehead is a sh- uh, ship. Not literally; it's like drawn on him, but mm-hmm. it's a man, and it says, "I was the face painter, um, and you were there, Jake, Jason, John, something another. You had a nice face. I would have liked to have stayed and chatted, but me and my coworker had the party to attend." It's actually kind of cute. Yeah, this is a cool... Like, if I saw this at an art museum and I was like, oh, it's Miss Connections, I'd be like, that's cool. Yeah. This isn't, like, funny, funny. This is this is when terrible internet trends are art. Yeah. Have you ever gotten your face painted? <laughs> no. Really? I've had a caricature drawn of me, unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, places like Six Flags or Bush Gardens where they're, like, yeah. kids getting their face painted. Was that flattering? Um, yeah, I wasn't that bad. I was in eighth grade and he gave me titties. And I said, don't know how I feel about that one, bestie. Why'd you do that? <laughs> he gave you titties? He gave me, like, cleavage up to my neck. Oh, my God. I was like, I'm 12. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jesus. And now? And now they hang down. My nipples <laughs> touch my thighs when I sit. So he foretold that prophecy. My boobs are so small, they don't even count. <laughs> Little mosquito see- bites. Yeah. Like one is a mosquito bite, the other one's a big slice of ham. <laughs> you have a slice of ham. Topless from a distance, it looks like I'm covered in deli meat. <laughs> You're just pepperoni. Um, so this one is actually kind of cute too. It's just a, <laughs> deli it's a child. Meat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, continue. <laughs> you see me and you're like, hmm, I want a charcuterie board. Well, I'm like, mm, that looks delicious. <laughs> Anyone else hungry? <laughs> oh, no, Sarah is. You got a little food on your... Never mind. <sighs> you don't want this meat. <laughs> it's lukewarm and wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, why are my nipples wet? Because <laughs> deli meat's wet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so this says Sunday, March 15, 2009, woman for man. Okay, so it's a woman. Wait, uh, where are you? The second um, art piece. Come on. Oh, you're still on the art pieces. Yeah, I wanted to see more because like, these are both women describing men. Slay. Which is very unusual. All right, I'm here. Green hula hoop in Tompkins Square Park. Yesterday you had a bright green hula hoop around your waist and you were very cute. Hope you reply. It's, she, okay, but she it's drew a, a child. child. She drew a child. Don't like that. I don't like that either. <laughs> All right, um, woman. The hula hoop, you think? That's actually really unsettling. So we mentioned earlier the Craigslist personal page. Mm-hmm. Um, the personal page was one of Craigslist's most popular sections. It was an area where you could find personal ads uh, from people looking for casual sex, dates, and friendship. Craigslist was doing all this at a time when there was a lot of stigma surrounding online dating and casual hookups. Um, so it was acting as a pioneer of the online dating scene, mm-hmm. which is kind of tea. We could not have Bumble and Tinder without Craigslist Personal. It's true. The existence of casual sex implies that there is formal and black tie sex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's, um... <laughs> <laughs> what is formal sex? Formal sex. Like clinical medical sex. Yeah, it's purely for procreation. Yeah, it's like uh, colonial <laughs> sex. <laughs> Have you ever, like, watched those YouTube videos on, Colonial like... sex? <laughs> Let me finish my okay. statement. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, how ceremonious it was, and, like, they wouldn't actually see each other naked, and it was, like, a sheet with a hole in it that would, they would place over the woman. And yeah. It was, it just, like, the worst shit ever. And, you know, they smelled so bad. Oh, you know they smelled like ass. Oh. Actually, the sheet probably helped, like, block out the odor. You could only hope. Yeah, these people bathe, like, once a year. Oh. I would not want to smell them if my life depended on it under all that fabric dude fuck me in a field i cannot i cannot smell you right now i'm saying (laughs) like i think about it all the time like europeans are so not now yeah but like back then it was just so and they used to um (laughs) just like ew in classic new york the the reason that like in department stores the perfume section was at the front is because the horse-drawn carriages in the street were oh. like all the shit in yeah. the street 
they, they would put the perfume at the front of the store so it would be like a nice scent when yeah. you walk into the store because everyone smelled like asshole. <laughs> but that's also horrible. You ever smelled someone who's sweaty but they put perfume on over yes, it? Yes, me is, every day. <laughs> it's, it's fucking oh, rancid. That used to be me in high school when I didn't want to bathe. I'd just do Victoria's Secret body <laughs> spray. It's like, that's not a substitute for a shower. There's always like girls like, what's that smell? <laughs> uh, it's my perfume. <laughs> no, it's your fucking body odor. Oh, smell like a mule. <laughs> Donkey girl. A mule who went to Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> a mule with a JoJo Siwa eyeshadow palette. <laughs> you smell like Lucky by Britney Spears. Literally! <laughs> 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 <I'm> petting too. <laughs> oh, I missed the personal page. Not because I like actually went on it, but because like it was so gross. Yeah. It was just, but you know, that I, I feel like people like answered those ads though. You yeah. Know? So. We were talking about the personal page. Mm -hmm. Um, It was banned. Yeah. It was shut down in 2018, although the rest of Craigslist remains up and running. The section was discontinued in response to FOSTA slash SESTA, which were laws passed in the U.S. to combat sex trafficking. Um, So according to the law, we talked about this a little Mm -hmm. earlier, the government can impose criminal and civil liabilities on any website that provides a platform for prostitution and sex trafficking. I wonder the the limits of that. Yeah. Cuz that's how a lot of people make their income. Yeah, I feel like it's also the safer way to make your income. Yeah. Instead of like going outside. Yeah. You know, you can advertise online and like sort of like use your own discretion. Like yeah. does this person seem sketchy? And there's evidence of it too. If yeah. anything happens, it's all written down online. Craigslist used to have an adult/erotic slash services section. Jesus. Where escorts, erotic massage therapists, and other sex workers could promote their services. But that closed down in 2010, resulting in a migration to the personal section. I have always wanted to get, like, an erotic massage. Yeah? I know that sounds weird, but, Somebody like... Somebody rubbing on your ham nipples? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're... Stop! <laughs> stop! Stop it! <laughs> well, I mean, like, what is that like for, like, a girl? I don't like, know. Because I, I, I know that you reach around and you jack someone off during yeah. a massage. But, like, do they, like, read to me? Probably not. Oh, well. They probably just violate you (laughs) in ways that you can't even imagine. (laughs) I can't actually think of anything I'd want to do less than get an erotic massage from a stranger. Really? (laughs) (laughs) We are so opposite. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever been, like, massaged by a partner or, like, a boyfriend or anything? Uh, yeah, but, like, poorly. Like, my arm hurts. I'm like, Brad. (laughs) Two minutes. (laughs) No, I want a real massage where like a like a really big woman named Helga. Oh, who, like, I get it. Breaks the shit out of my back. And you then, trust her? Yeah. Okay. She cradles I'm me. I'm thinking pervert, creepy man. That's like, oh, let no, me I would diddle never, you. I would never let a man touch me like that. <laughs> you want to get diddled in public? No, I don't. And I don't want to pay for it either. No, it would be a strong German woman. Okay, that's I get that. Who'd break my spine and twist my lady bits. <laughs> <laughs> twist. Twist. Yeah. Twist your donkey clit. <laughs> Yank my drapes down. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. Um deprived. Steam clean the drapes. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so when Foster passed, <laughs> Anyways. Craigslist decided to simply discontinue the personal section to prevent the rest of the site from getting shut down as well. Interestingly <laughs> enough, there's been a lot of pushback from the sex worker community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they claim that removing sites like Craigslist and Backpage remove their ability to find work, screen clients, and engage in sex work in a safe way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was like, that, you, it's a way to vet people. Yeah, you have the exchanges and, you know, the conversations are, like, recorded and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That seems, like, really stupid. The government doesn't care about women. Who knew? Yeah, shocker. <laughs> What? So the sex workers' argument was that instead of looking for clients online from the safety of their own homes, um, they were forced into the streets where their lives are more at risk, which yeah. is what we were saying. The remaining websites that are still up tend to exploit sex workers' desperation by charging insane amounts to post compared to Craigslist's low-cost low cost services. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, like, how does OnlyFans factor into that? Did this push OnlyFans to, like, go... Because I know OnlyFans, like, blew up, like, very recently. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know it existed, but I don't know if this is why it, like, got so huge. OnlyFans started in 2016. When did OnlyFans become popular? What was that whole controversy, too? It was created by, like, a man. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And it took off during the pandemic, naturally. Oh, it was based in London. Ooh. It has two million content creators. Jesus. That so, is so many holes. <laughs> it's at least. No, literally. 50. That's so many holes. Let's see. Tim Stokely founded it. Yeah. Creepy fucking pervert. 
<laughs> we get sued by OnlyFans because <laughs> I called him a pervert. Sorry, Timothy. Sorry, Tim. My dad's name is Tim. I don't want to think about this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> so the demographics um, of the people who post on misconnections is 59% man-seeking woman. Surprise. 27% men-seeking men. Wait, what? Slay. They're gay. Ew. Ah! 13% women-seeking man, and then 1% women-seeking woman. And then there's me. And then there's Sarah <laughs> getting complimented by her tow truck driver. You were giving a very mer- erotic massage. <laughs> and I wanted it. Yeah, I bet I the man seeking man ones are so sad. Yeah. Because it's so many closeted people. Like, I just want to touch a dick. Wait, no, that is very, like, true. Yeah. I've seen a lot that are, like, very, very closeted. Yeah. Because I'm sure the woman seeking woman ones are not. Mm hmm. Uh, like it's like they know what they want and they're going after it. The man seeking man is like, if someone wants to come and suck me, yeah. I'm not gay. <laughs> but please, <laughs> I'm begging you. I will pay you. But I won't because that's gay. Yeah, I feel like it's like that because Grinder is so like. Because I mean, like even like with like dating apps, like you have to put your face. Yeah. I imagine there is some sort of like you know you're too afraid to like post yourself. Absolutely. But you still want like that homoerotic interaction. The anonymity of it all. I for get sure. that. Yeah, I get that. Um, so art, shit, this inspires us so many artists' misconnections. It's an interesting concept. It's not, I get it. But it's not as poetic as it seems. No. It's just people being perverts. <laughs> being creepy as yes. fuck. Um, God, I just swallowed my own. Um, the topic has been used as a theme by artists and authors. New York Transit, oh, we already read that. Yeah. Shit. Um, a theatrical, pre- uh, misconnections, New York, a theatrical presentation of 13 vignettes and comic songs performed by the Upright Citizens Brigade. So it was a... Oh, play so, oh, oh i think it's improv and if oh. you classify improv as art you are mentally ill <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a broad descriptor for improv <laughs> yes um there's another one called misconnections and exploration into the online postings of desperate romantics that's it yeah when people on tiktok are like romanticize your life it doesn't mean get on <laughs> craigslist.gov <laughs> <laughs> Craigslist.edu. Yeah, it does Craigslist. not mean that. Not edu. <laughs> does... You have a student login for <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> that is not what we meant. <laughs> Miss Connections movie uh, starring Sting's daughter Mickey what? Sumner and opened up at the Savannah Film Festival in 2012. I bet that slays actually. Does she die? Does she get murdered? Mickey Sumner. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Sting. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> If you okay, so if you don't know what Sting looks like, well, if you know what Sting looks like, his daughter looks exactly like him. Him. I kind of want to watch this movie. Let's watch it when we get home. Slay. You milk me. (laughs) (laughs) Make it on the couch. (laughs) Milk me as we watch our movie. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) They just hear mooing from the apartment. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna be on Craigslist later seeking new roommate. (laughs) Does anyone else's roommate make them milk each other? You make me move out. I'm sorry. There's also Misconnections, a live interactive play with magic conceived for virtual experience. Uh, February. It was from February 2nd to 28th um, in 2021 at Chicago's MacArthur. Oh, that sounds fun. A magic? The magic of perversion. No, literally. Is this your description? <laughs> Is this you? <laughs> um, oh, Misconnections. Let's see. It's performed by magician John Ty and produced by Alex Gruhin. Interesting. Love them both. Yeah, There's huge no fan. You know, I'm a big um, Gru head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know about being a Gru head. I wonder if like magicians have like <coughs> f- like fans like roadies. You cosplay as Chris Angel online. Oh sh- no, I love Chris Angel. <laughs> I He's love a magician. I have like I um, have pretended to be a Chris Angel on multiple apps. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I go on the Citizen app, I just comment on crime as Chris Angel. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, I am a huge fan of Chris Angel, but I wouldn't like follow his tour bus. We you know? have a photo of him on our fridge. It's been there for like two years. You literally, you love Chris Angel. I would not put it past you to be a, a roadie. Yeah. But not in a sexual way. Just like fucking love Chris Angel. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking love Chris Angel. <laughs> I love you, dude. I don't want anything from you. I just want to look at he you. He's so sick of seeing me at shows. <laughs> pick me, pick me. You're, you're listed. You're yeah. put on a list. <laughs> he sawed me in half like four times. Who's the other one? Who's the other magician? Other than Chris Angel. <laughs> There's like, um, shit, 
what's his name? David Blaine. David Blaine. Yeah. yeah. He kind of freaks me out. Does he wear eyeliner? So there's this website about like these people don't exist and it's just like pictures of people. David Blaine looks like someone who does not exist. What do you mean these people don't exist? This person they just, does not so exist. So the computers come up with um, people's faces and they these people on the website, they don't exist. So how did they get this image? They made it. <laughs> This is a real photo. That's not a real photo. That person does not exist. Sarah, what the fuck is this? The computers are smart. That is a real person. That is not a real person. Why would someone do this? Okay, so we're looking at photos of just average looking people that do not exist. Basically, a computer just creates these images and Brittany's losing her shit. It's like a deep fake, but not. Yeah, it's a deep fake of no one. Oh my God. Oh, we have to do an episode on this. Okay. I mean, what would we talk about? And it's also largely visual. You guys, dude, this woman. This one is crazy. Wish you guys could see it. She looks like my mom, but she doesn't exist. <laughs> That's the entire thing. No, no, no. Guess if this person doesn't exist. <laughs> they don't. They don't. <laughs> do you think, da- you think David Blaine is hot, though? I w- would categorize David Blaine as an attractive man. Mm-hmm. Do I think he's hot? I prefer not to disclose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Chris Angel is attractive. I think there's just something about him that's so charming. So magnetic. <laughs> I like his Joe Jonas hair. Chris Angel's hot. Mm-hmm. Well, with short hair, he is. They are the same person. Really? They look very similar. Well, I think all magicians kind of look the same. Who's the other one? David Copperfield. David Copperfield? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an illusionist. Isn't he that guy that, like... <laughs> he looks similar, too. He's that guy who got buried in the ground, right? And then died there? He didn't die. <laughs> What's that guy? Houdini. Houdini. Didn't he? How did Houdini die? I thought Houdini got cut in half. No, no, no. Houdini, it was something stupid. He got punched in the gut and he wasn't ready and it killed him. He had internal bleeding. Okay. How do I know that? That's he, like a little factoid I know. He dies of periton, peritonitis? Dude, P-E-R-I-T-O-N-I-T-I-S. Not a real word. His burst appendix. Yeah, he got punched in the I in the tummy. So smart. How did you know that? I don't know. A little factoid. <laughs> you should become a magician. I should. <laughs> magician lore. <laughs> I know it well. He died on Halloween, Slay. Oh shit. Did you know he was Hungarian? You didn't know. I didn't why, know that why either. Why would I have known that? <laughs> <laughs> you be knowing stuff sometimes, I don't know. You should have known that he was Hungarian. <laughs> I should have been disappointed. How did what, what were we talking about? Oh, misconnections. Uh, <laughs> Let's go through the PowerPoint. Okay. All right. So we do have some misconnection examples. Um, if you would like to start us off. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you farted in Trader Joe's. <laughs> it could be anyone. <laughs> it could be me. This is about me. Man for woman. <clears throat> this is from 2009. You were the tall brunette with the near perfect body that farted in the <laughs> bread section <laughs> last <laughs> the tall guy next to you that looked over and asked was that you <laughs> you quickly replied nope wasn't me you almost seemed insulted i would ask yeah no shit <laughs> as the stink grew you continued to deny your flatulence but it was evident i tried to get rid of the stench by waving two loaves of ciabatta Why bread would you do that to her <laughs> just leave the aisle it's like a kid <laughs> when someone's smoking outside that like yeah. makes it a point to cough <laughs> You proceeded to storm off in an angry manner. You are beautiful. And even if you are a liar and fart like a Clydesdale, <laughs> I'd love to be up sometime. <laughs> You're a liar who farts like a Clydesdale. Farts like a Clydesdale. Oh my God, if someone ever described me like that. Dude, why would you? Oh, I, shit. I cannot get past the waving two loaves of ciabatta bread. <laughs> <laughs> farter, farter. You shame her? Why doesn't she like me? <laughs> you were beautiful. Do you think she's going to read this and be like, he was cute? You fart like a horse in a coke ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. Why would you ever put this online? Like, what would possess you to upload this to a website? Yes. Um, this next one is to the girl who attempted a B&E this morning. Breaking and entering? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was like B&B. <laughs> the girl who attempted to open a hotel. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm the guy whose house you tried breaking into this morning around 9.30 a.m. and more on Gale Not Street. Not thirsting after <laughs> literally a criminal. 
<laughs> Our conversation was short. You only said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, as you saw me staring back at you through the door blinds. Still, I feel like we made a good connection. <laughs> Separated only by inches, the door and the two locks you were trying to pick. I gave you 15 minutes to make your uh, make your getaway. You're welcome, by the way. I don't know if they're, um, if you were with a professional crew, but please She's don't. Ocean's <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But please don't try to break in my house again. I'd hate to shoot your cute, freckled face. This is so deranged. Oh, my God. However, if you're up for a legal encounter, I'm game. You know the one. This man hunts people. <laughs> this man <laughs> yes. has so many bodies in his walls. Yes. You know the one. Shut the fuck up. I'd hate to shoot your cute, freckled face. How about just install a security system How if she keeps coming by? Him opening the door and being like, what's going on? Yes. You need help? Yeah. Kind of cute. She's like, never mind, actually. I don't yeah, want to rob you. Yeah, I don't want to break into this fucking house. It's not worth it. <laughs> She's the criminal and ends up being hunted. <laughs> the God. most dangerous game. Literally, what the fuck is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with men? This is like, this is incel core. Yeah. Do you think this is real? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I believe everything on the internet. I do. <laughs> it's my <laughs> fatal flaw. <laughs> Oh, God. There's another one that says condoms and bread. Women for man. Okay, so a woman is writing this. Okay. Hi, you left your 36 value pack of condoms in your organic multigrain whole wheat bread at my farmer's market table this past Saturday. You included the receipt for the condoms, which both shocked and delighted me. I really had no idea condoms were this expensive. Shocked because although these look like the good ones, they really set you back almost 40 bucks. Delighted because if no one claims them, I'm exchanging them for four tubes of Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, a true what? classic, and some sunscreen. Okay, I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you, nor did any of my employees, but I imagine you to be male, born in the 90s or 2000s. Optimistic yet cautious, health conscious yet carb loving, maybe a long distance runner. Uh, women can be just as creepy. <laughs> yes, would make sense in the stamina department as well. Or maybe you're in a band. Not I her assuming things because he <laughs> bought bread and rubbers. She's projecting like a man onto this guy. I asked around, but no one was admitting anything to me. I learned that people don't appreciate being asked if they are they misplaced their condoms, and really, I was just trying to help and bust your balls, but only a tiny bit. I feel like if I ever spent forty bucks. On condoms, never, and six bucks on a loaf of bread, always, <laughs> <laughs> and then lost them while buying a seven dollar juice. I'd be so mad. So let me know if these are yours. I'll bring them this weekend to the market. I would write this, lady. Let it go. <laughs> I like that she specified four tubes of Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, a true classic. <laughs> yeah, and she's not wrong. <laughs> That's everybody's starter mascara. It really is. <laughs> Why does she need four tubes? <sighs> You she's, never know. She's judging his amount of condoms and bread, and she's buying four tubes of mascara. This is wild. I know. Look for the lady with the long lashes. <laughs> she, has <laughs> she has your condoms. She has your condoms. Looking for these? <laughs> Get away from me. Please. I saw the ad. Leave God. me alone. All right. Did you lose a ham? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a bear broke into your kitchen and stole it from the counter where it was cooling. <laughs> Who's cooling their ham? And then discarded it because it was overly salty. Or maybe you and some other scenesters you just met were snacking on it during Moog Fest? What the fuck is any of these words? But then, when you woke up Monday morning next to the trash cans in Chicken Alley, it was gone. I'm not sure of all the possible scenarios under which someone might lose a ham. This is uh, like the uh, previous woman. <laughs> She continues. It's part two. <laughs> it's in worse shape than I than it was when I saw it last night. Perhaps due to the rain or a random vagrant gnawing at it. The brown fat on the outside isn't so deliciously crispy looking this morning. It's a bone-in ham. Not sure it's obvious <laughs> from the photo. And it's been eaten on some. But there's definitely some serious meat left on it. <laughs> Why are they describing it in such detail? She, any, she hasn't even seen the person who owned the ham. Oh, no. Just the ham itself. Looks like it was pretty tasty in its day. Anyway, it's laying on the mulch in between the Civic Center and the sidewalk. I'm sure you'll be relieved to know where it... And we'll never know the rest of the sentence. <laughs> you should circle back the next day. Oh, thank God. My ham! <laughs> My ham. Oh, no! Also, oh, it's, ham. it's between the Civic Center and the sidewalk. Who's cooling their ham at the Civic Center? I'm thinking about... It sounds like a code word. Yeah. Cool. yeah. You know where to find me, cooling my ham. ham at the Civic Center. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to buy some mess, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know where I can cool my ham? 
Just a young woman looking to cool her ham. <laughs> Nothing suspicious over here. <laughs> Hanging out at the Civic Center, cooling my ham. If anyone needs me, on the mulch next to the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means... Um... This one says license plate BJN seven five two three. That's scary because you can find so much from someone's license. Yeah, just look plate. them up. Yeah, look them up on Carfax. That's true. It's literally true. <laughs> You've been into two accidents in the past year. Yeah, I'm worried about you. Got a terrible driving record. <laughs> Dear sir or madam. Oh, you don't even care. That's kind of cool. Um, haha, you are clever. You regifted your unwanted parking ticket to a neighboring vehicle. Oh, they don't like them. Um, unfortunately, you disregard, disregarded two important points. First, I do not drive a silver Buick. Second, I do not plan to pay the city $30 on your behalf. I understand fines double after 10 days and triple after 90 days. Good luck with that. Cordial disregard to the neighboring vehicle's driver. Just. It's brave. Yeah. What they attempted to do. Why don't you just contact them? Yeah. Or tell the city. Yeah. They put this ticket on my car. It's not mine. I simply would have thrown it away. Yeah. I just, why would you do this? Yeah. <laughs> why would you do that? All right. You were the hot brunette with curves that farted near the produce this week. It's that same woman. I keep spitting. <laughs> it's the same woman just farting she's everywhere. She's just lighting it up <laughs> in every grocery store. She's IBS. <laughs> <laughs> she is just cranking them out. <laughs> I was the tall guy next to you. I like when they say Wait, I the same, was this, this is guy. the same thing. Oh, it is. Oh, that's why they're the same lady. You are beautiful, and even though you're a liar and fart <laughs> like a slide still. I love to meet up for a drink sometime. I love it. Um, to the guy I gave a skull to. Are you saying head? Or um, I just want to let you know I wasn't a crazy lady. Here's what happened. A guy was running from a train. I saw something go flying at, off the end of his cane. Yes, he was running with a cane. After a few seconds of me and other waiting passengers looking around stupidly at each other, I decided to be a good Samaritan. I picked it up and saw that it was small, polished replica replica of a human skull. I looked. It to the, flew off the cane. Yeah. Okay. Um, I looked to the old man standing next to me and said, "It's a skull." He shrugged his shoulders. I didn't want it, but I have such a particular hatred of littering that I didn't want to drop it back on the floor lest someone think I'm a dirty skull litterer. Oh, not one of those. Uh, I hate those. <laughs> it happens. I decided the proper thing to do would be to give it back to whoever dropped the thing. So that's not in the story. That's just Brittany. Um, so I jumped in the door of the L train and saw you with what I thought was a cane. So I said, here's your skull and handed it to you. You were shocked. I thought because you didn't realize it was lost. But as I backed off the train as the door closed, I saw that it wasn't a cane you had, but an umbrella and luggage. And you clearly were the person <laughs> who dropped the skull. I can't imagine how weird it must have been to see a woman run onto the train, shove a skull in your hand and tell you it's yours. So Here's I'm just your skull. <laughs> what? <laughs> trying to get to the airport <laughs> in the rain <laughs> having a terrible day <laughs> so i'm just writing this to let you know it wasn't a voodoo ritual an ominous mafia warning a gang initiation or a misguided attempt at getting to know you better i truly thought you dropped your skull now what do you do i'm dying to know i like this because it's like <laughs> oh, i made a fool of myself in public so yeah. if that was you i'm sorry i like that better than the way you farted yeah it's <laughs> so fucking nasty i do feel compelled to do this like um <laughs> Like, you know, like when you tell like a delivery person that you love them on accident yeah. and you just want to like go on the record, like to speak to no one in particular and say, I don't love you. It's just you came. Yeah. I was talking to my mom earlier. Yeah. Apologizing I, to the void. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Apologizing to the void. I literally it's like a, to make yourself feel better. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's the next one for Wheelie the Wiener Dog. When I was in high school, I lived on a cul-de-sac street that had a slight hill leading into the cul-de-sac. It was a quiet neighborhood that didn't have a lot of through traffic. <clears throat> My house was a couple of lots up from the end of the street at the top of the hill. Around the corner lived a guy who had an old wiener dog. The dog, like many of its breed, had become paralyzed in its hind legs, is but that, was otherwise is that fine. A popular thing, or like, does that happen? Like a common thing that they get paralyzed? I guess when they get super old, oh, no. they just get stove up, <laughs> legs quit working. Oh my goodness! Same thing happened to my pappy. <laughs> The guy had rigged up a little doggy wheelchair thing, and Wheelie the wiener dog was often out and about in the neighborhood. Happy as could be, wheeling around with his little front legs pumping furiously. You could always hear him coming before seeing him, as the guy didn't keep the wheels oiled too well. So I'm sitting on the porch one day after school, high as a kite, and I hear Wheelie moving fast. I look up the street, and around the corner comes a cat, all puffed up and hauling ass, and right behind the cat comes Wheelie, on a mission. The cat takes a hard left into some bushes right in front of my house. Wheelie, God love him, tried to make the left too, but the forces of momentum, gravity, and about a 10 degree downgrade brawl against him. You know how it is when you're stoned. Time kind of stretches out and things happen in slow motion. 
When Wheelie tried to hang that hard left while he just jackknifed like an overloaded tractor trailer truck on an icy road. His ass end swung around, but his front feet kept scrabbling left. He sort of pivoted. Then he started rolling down the hill, ass end first, with his front legs working furiously to try to get some traction. Squeak, squeak, scratch, scratch. This is like a children's novel. (laughs) He rolled down to the end of the cul-de-sac, bumped into the curb, and then just kind of shook his head, sneezed, and sat there looking around all kind of pissed off, embarrassed-like. Shel Silverstein wrote this. (laughs) (laughs) This is beautifully written. I had never in my life laughed so hard. I was paralyzed with laughter because my sides hurt so bad I couldn't move. But I did finally get myself together, walked down to Wheelie, Picked him up and took him up the hill to the corner. I think he was grateful. This one sucks. Yeah. Are you saying like you want to, do you want to meet the dog again? Wheelie continued to patrol the neighborhood for another five years, but not once after that did I ever get, did I ever see him get anywhere close to that hill? That fucking sucks. I don't like this because like, you know where the dog lives. You know who, you have access to the dog. Why are you writing misconnections about the dog in your neighborhood? Also, the dog doesn't have a laptop. He can't even read. However, if he was a dog with a blog... That is different. That might be different. Different skill set. <laughs> that is kind of boring. I want to do this one. Big knife, cute smile. Jeez. Woman for man. All right. Another crazy woman. Mm. I saw you yesterday as I was walking through Clipper Mill. You were talking to someone in a car and you were turned around. You had a huge strap looking, I don't know, Bowie knife. You put it away. Like you put it away pretty fast. I wouldn't say we had a moment or anything, but I really wanted to stop and ask you about it. So what's with the knife? Yeah, I, I like that. I saw, I saw this guy with a knife when I wanted to ask him about his knife. I was scared because he could have knifed me. <laughs> what the fuck? Just I want to ask about your knife. That's fair, too. At it's least she's like, not being a pervert. She's being weird. Yeah. <laughs> just, just. So, what's with the knife? He answers. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> to the beautiful lady who saw me pooping. Man for woman. Me. Taking a huge poop in the 15 pizza... 15p pizza bathroom you drunk beautiful discovered that i forgot to lock the door in my haste (laughs) look i know it must have been awkward for you to see me in that state and especially since it didn't seem to bother me that you walked in we made eye contact for a brief moment you have the most beautiful brown eyes no pun intended (laughs) i said hey beautiful lady right as you slammed the door and i meant it (laughs) (laughs) my god everyone poops and now that you've seen me pooping i feel like we already have moved our relationship to a higher level if you read this and feel the same way respond (laughs) dot dot Dot, dot. I hope the smell didn't offend you. I ate Indian food for lunch. Dot, dot, dot. Is he serious? I don't know, but this is so crazy. There's no way this is real. In the midst of your shit, someone walks in, you're like, I love you. Uh, that's. <laughs> you're gorgeous. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. <Ugh! laughs> Sorry, I had Indian food. The door's swinging. You know, like, literally any food upsets my stomach. Me too. I, I could eat a hot dog and I would be, like, shitting bricks. Yeah. <sighs> is your shit mostly liquid? Or is it hard? It's uh, half and half. It's either, like, painfully solid. <laughs> like, I'm, I am birthing. My birthing <laughs> hips are at work in the bathroom. Painfully solid. Painfully solid. Or it's just, you know, like, when you barely touch down on the toilet and it's just, like, <laughs> it goes. That's, yes. yeah. There is no in between. I haven't had a healthy shit in years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, my shit is, like, when you put pea soup through a sifter. (laughs) It's almost completely liquid. (laughs) Oh, my God. Even with those little uh, pills you take? Yeah. I just, I I mean, it helps. My stomach doesn't hurt, but, like, I just poop, like, all, like, liquid. Mm, It's kind of satisfying, huh? It is, because you sloths out of you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's like pouring something from a blender yes. <laughs> like a smoothie the noise it makes when it hits the toilet it's like pouring a smoothie into a glass cup <laughs> um to the girl throwing up from her cab male for a woman what is up with this um you were just charging a thanksgiving day's feast worth of vittles and booze into the pavement of market Onto the pavement of market while I cheered you on from the car behind you. That's funny. <laughs> you played your part perfectly, encumbering the city with freshly minted aromas of regurgitated oh. cranberry sauce and vodka. Oh, that's going to make me vomit. She's drunk driving and vomiting. Oh. I played mine with equal grace, impregnating the vacant morning air with the clamorous hootings of a drunkard. Why 
Why is it so They're beautifully both drunk? <laughs> They're both drunk. <laughs> oh, wait, no, she's in a cab. It was a moment we shared that we will always have. They can never take that away from us. That's actually... Please don't ever change. That's actually kind of cute. Yeah, there's nothing sexual about it. I like yeah, that. Yeah, just cheering on someone as they vomit. Yeah. Hope you get home safe. You got it. <laughs> you got this. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Well. That was pretty enlightening. That was truly awful. Mm-hmm. Most of the misconnections are just like, I want you to contact me. These have just been like describing someone in their lowest. Yeah. <laughs> no, like actually, someone caught you on the worst day you've ever had. <laughs> yes. And now you guys want to date. Um... So thank you guys so much for listening. This has been Violating Community Guidelines, Guidelines. with Brittany and, and Sarah. Sarah. Make sure you to li- like, like and subscribe, subscribe and rate us five, five stars. stars and tag your, your grandma, grandma, <laughs> dog, dog, wheelie. <laughs> All right, we will see you in the next one or listen, talk to you in the next one. All right, bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.